Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I am an aspiring artist. I make time-lapse videos of how I did my paintings. Today I'm doing a portrait of a panda. I only just received my soft pastels two days ago and I'm super excited to start on this project. This is the very first time I paint with soft pastels. I didn't realize that the paper is smooth on one side and with a rougher texture on the other side. I happen to use the rougher side and it's kind of difficult for a beginner like me. I also didn't know that the key to pastel painting is layering. So I put on the green colors here and expected it to be smoothened out evenly on the first try. And of course it didn't. But that's okay, after a few tries I got it. Here I'm adding in some yellow in the white bur. Not too sure if everybody knows, grown pandas, their white furs are never white. They are very yellowish and dirty looking, especially on the belly, as you'll see later. I took this picture of the panda in one of the panda research centers in Chengdu, China. I know I shouldn't add in any details at this stage, but the right eye of the panda just wasn't exactly in the correct position. I had to amend it and then I couldn't help to put just a tiny bit more details in the eyes. I felt that I needed to see the eyes, whether it's showing through in the right position. I added in some grey in the black fur so it wouldn't get too black and then I wouldn't be able to add in any more details in there. I've always loved painting the eyes of a person or an animal. When you add the reflection, it's like it's becoming alive looking back at you from the paper. I should have made the reflection in the eyes brighter here though. Because after I sprayed the painting with fixative, the sparkle in the eye is just gone. It looks odd here that I'm painting a panda's belly brown instead of white. But in reality, it really does look that brown. Cause you know, they roll on the floor day in day out. So it's really impossible for them to keep the white fur white. And I finished with the bamboo, the painting was then done. And here are the pictures of before and after I sprayed the fixative. 
I used a fine art fixative. On hindsight, I probably sprayed too much and too close to the painting. Well, it's my first. I'll get better the next time. But that's all for now. Please do like and share my video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.